As more and more people are beginning to discover the amazing benefits of the Groundhog CRM system and just how versatile it is, questions are beginning to come in about how to name campaigns and how to name tags and how to use tags properly. So this will be a two-part video series. Part one will be talking about how to name your campaigns and then part two will be talking about how to name and utilize tags as probably one of the most important things you can do in any CRM is to tag your contacts properly and have those tags actually mean something. So let's dive in and take a look at campaign names in one of my applications and all we're going to do is just go over to funnels and you can see that they're not just random names they're actually categorized by number and type of campaign so if you take a look there is and I'll just circle them one by one 10 dot marketing 50 dot internal 30 dot fulfillment and so on and so forth all the way down the list this makes it easier to search for campaigns but it also makes it easier for you to know label campaigns properly so what is this system well let's just open up a quick canvas and describe the campaign naming so basically there's five types of campaigns in any CRM now you may discover that you have more than that but this would cover probably 95 percent of all campaigns the first one is probably the most used one, which is a marketing campaign. A marketing campaign is essentially anything that is pre-sales, getting somebody to download a free offer, getting uh, someone to subscribe to something or a free trial or watch a video series, anything that happens before the collection of money. Once that person is moved through the pipeline and is now in a sales campaign, that means that there's a communication process that is deeper than marketing. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, getting somebody to book a consult. And then once the sale is made, then you enter into what we call fulfillment. Fulfillment means delivering on your promises. Once the sale is made, what is the list of tasks that need to go out automatically to make sure that you're fulfilling the promise that you made to somebody when they purchased from you and then there's finance campaigns and, and I'm not going to go through these ones finance and HR or internal so those are basically the five campaigns the top three are the most used and we actually give them a number so this is 10 dot marketing 20 dot sales 30 dot fulfillment 40 dot finance and 50 dot HR then what happens is after the type of the campaign then you want to give it a name for example a marketing campaign might be named um, free ebook the sales campaign might be uh, free consult uh, the fulfillment campaign might be onboarding so what you have here in any campaign name is essentially three parts. The number of the campaign, the type of the campaign, and the name of the campaign. And this is a great naming convention so that you can keep things straight within your application. An example of this we've already taken a look at. You notice I'm using the short form of marketing instead of the long term because I just think it saves space. So 10 dot marketing, download the Groundhog Cheat Sheet, uh, 50 dot internal. Uh, let's take a look down here at some of the other ones. Uh, marketing, update your contact details or fulfillment. Uh, they've registered for train the trainer. And so deliver the, the list of things that they need to do to be prepared for that course and or parking issues or whatever information you need to send to them, such as times, dates, what to bring, what not to bring, that's that sort of thing. So that's how I approach the naming of my campaigns. In our next video, we're going to talk about the tagging system that also is intertwined with the campaign naming system. My name is Paul Toby. Hope you had a good time. Thank you. 
If you want more help, there's a couple of things. Just go to the homepage, tutorials.paultoby.com. That's me, Paul Toby. And you can click on Docs, which takes you to the documentations of Groundhog. Let's go and do that. So there's your Groundhog documentation. And also there's the YouTube channel with lots of videos. And there's also the Facebook user group. Thank you.